So I was out on this solo tour driving around and uh, pulled into Paducah, Kentucky, and two or three different random people told me, you got to hear these guys, you know, Bon and the Mash. They're incredible. One was this woman at the at the River Museum there in, in Paducah saying, I, mean, I asked her, you know, anybody around here writing a good river song? She said, oh yeah, these guys Bon and the Mash, they're writing all the good river tunes. I love it, you know, to be traveling around the country as much as I do and get somewhere where someone's writing songs about the area, specifically the river, man. Uh, I was just floored and uh, eventually end up finding a number for him and we end up picking all night and having a great time and uh, it was a great day off on the road when I when I ran into Bon and the Mash. We just like to say hello to all the good people in Paducah, Kentucky this evening who are holding down the fort for us until we get back home. We appreciate y'all. Okay, so I'm saying that's free there. Yeah. Well, we're gonna unload. This is how a broke bluegrass hippie band rolls for two weeks. Cots. The sense of like try to do, try to set up our, all of our gear, our electric setup. But it looks like they have a bunch of acoustic mics in there. We have drums, electric guitars, electric mandolins, electric fiddles. Is this the Red Barn? <laughs> Chickens that cause some problems at home. I gotta talk to them. We've been to a far off land where they bottle this beverage here. Cheer wine, it's, a, it's like cherry Dr. Pepper. While L8 one is more of a ginger ale. And I do uh, keyboards and sequencing and alto sax and bell kit as well. Old time, old time sound with some new time business going on. You're gonna like this room. It's a good room to work in. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, um, the effects are usually for the electric mandolin. I play that as well. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. Yeah, it's a uh, check it out. It's a five string. Okay. Myself and uh, my friend Dan Knowles, we designed this instrument, so it's one of a kind. Hell yeah, that's awesome. So you guys made it by hand and everything? He did. I, I drew it and kind of uh, thought up the specs that I wanted. Wow, and, that is uh, fantastic. And he built it, and here it is. He's just putting cords in the wrong place here. Speaker cables go in the for tomorrow. bag. Delta Queen Limo Ride. Delta Queen Limo Ride. Top five legendary moments in my life. Listening to that guy's CD. Tish, going to Tishomingo with Banjo Bob and Steve.
do a little piece of paper and sugars. Some on the string and then Doom, Doom, uh, Doomsday. Yeah. Or Nathan and Doomsday. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We could that's open. only ten songs. We, we have to have an hour and a half. Your beer is good. Homemade. Everybody's, yeah, homemade, big places, small places. That'd be a hell of a job. Yeah, you just go around and drink beer all the time. What's wrong with that? 27 times platinum. How do you, how do you beat that? On one record. Dude, Thriller is next. They're gonna go crazy. We're not gonna be able to play. No, I mean, we're also just quit now and just it? have a Michael Jackson dance party. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, they're always there. You guys have this on footage here. This is the top secret. No one's allowed back here. This is the green room backstage, Big Apple Cafe. This room is hot. Only the, only the uh, elite, Murray elite class here. Shit. It's a long way to go.